happy Thursday. So I just rolled out of bed. You might be able to tell. So don't worry about the bed head. Um, I just do what I need to. So drank some C4, came right in here. Today is upper body day for me. So I wanted to share it with you. I really liked the workouts that we were doing that just showed one attachment. So on my um, Inspire FT1, I get a lot of people that ask me for this. If you need to know where I got it, um, if you're local here, I'll give you Chris's name. He was wonderful. But um, on this machine, I actually have um, different attachments. And so I'd like to go through each one, different exercises. But today we're going to focus just on um, the long bar. I know we did the short bar the other day, but this one, um, I like this one a lot, and I also have the easy bar that just means it has the curve in it, but today we're going to do the long bar. So, we're going to continue in the fashion of the Nasty Nine. So, I'm going to give you nine good exercises for a full upper body workout. So, I hope you enjoy. Let's go ahead and get started. So, these first exercises that I'm going to do here, we're going to call them batters. So, you can see that I do want to have the other side connected. I'm going to pull this out so that I have a better range. My hand stays here because this is where a lot of the work's going to come from is up here. You're just holding it back here. So, you want to imagine you're staying at waist elevation. So, your cable's here in the middle. Okay. We're going to start here. I've got my legs spread and kind of grounded. And those are staying planted. Your legs will not move during this exercise, but maybe to turn. But what we're doing here is we're going to work the side, the oblique side, the lats. Um, and you're going to do a lot of shoulder and trunk work. So we'll go ahead and get started. You're going to push this out here. Kind of, we call them batters, so you can imagine, like batting. So that demonstrates the 10 on each side. So you can feel it big time right here. That's really gonna help with all the love handles and the spare tire. I'm gonna go ahead and knock out my other two. I'll see you back in a second. This second exercise is similar to the first one I did as far as like a batter. This one I have pushed the elevation up all the way to the top. What we're going to do is do a slap down motion. So if you wanna get planted, using your top hand. This is the one that's going to be pushing the bar, so you're going to come straight down. There can be a little arch in your back, of course, but pretty much you want to stay with a straight arm, little motion in the elbow. I feel like Chuck will read back in two and two. I'm probably showing my age from Love Connection. But anyway, we'll be back in two sets. The third one, 
Okay, we went from middle elevation to high, now we're going to low. So instead of the batter, the slap shot, now we're going to do the upward, okay? Almost like a, golf, a golfer swing. So let's go ahead, assume the position. So you're gonna go ahead and bring your body out and get planted, whichever way is comfortable here. to be a chest press. We are doing upper body with a long bar. So I've actually went and attached it on both ends. I'm at a medium elevation because I want to work my chest here. So I'm going to go ahead and come out and get planted here. Our next one is going to be the lat pull down. So I have my cables all the way at the top. I've added more weight. I actually have a stool here and I'm gonna use, you can use a ball, you can sit on the ground, but I'm gonna choose to sit in this one. So this is the motion here. I'm doing a wide grip and you'll see that when I come down, I'm gonna pull in my shoulders and squeeze. one of my favorites. So I have it right in the middle as far as elevation. Um, this one is going to be a pull down. So I'm going to step away from the machine. I'm going to get a bit over. So I'm going to start here and my motion is just to push down. Okay. So that's what we're going to do here. 
go ahead and get the weight, whatever's comfortable for you. I'm gonna step back, give me a wide range of motion. dripping sweat like the whole time. <laughs> okay, we'll be back in two. For our ninth exercise and our nastiest, I chose to get my ball. We're going to do overhead with the cable, but if you don't have this, you can lay on the floor. Um, either one. I just am going to try this one out, so I'm going to get everything positioned on the ball. So I've got my shoulders and everything here to where I'm focusing more just on my arm motion. Sorry, I'm really sweaty. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. Of course, I've got my heels grounded. When I come back, I'm gonna pull out first. Okay, so once we're ready, I like using the ball because you can roll out to get a deeper stretch if you want to. Plus you're super supported in your neck and back. For the people that don't have the ball, I want to make sure that you see the option of doing it on the floor. So I went ahead and got my yoga mat. I've of course lowered the elevation on my cable machine. And depending on where you lay on the mat is how far you can pull the bar, right? So here, I have a pretty wide range. where it's more just chest to knees or legs I should say. You're not getting the full range but if you don't want to that's your deal right? Let's see how far out we can go. So even further out here you're going to see I have a full range of motion here. Those are just some different variations. So, we just finished our nasty nine. You can see that I'm pretty nasty now. I'm dripping sweat, full sweaty outfit here. So. Um, this was just to show you how you can go into the gym and set up shop just at one of the cable machines using just one attachment so you don't have to go scramble around looking for all kinds of different ones, what exercises to do. You can go straight in, know that you're going to use your long bar and get a full body, or I'm sorry, full upper body workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Next, I think we're going to do the um, rope attachment because this is one that I use at the gym all the time. So we'll do something with this one next. And then we'll also do another one with just the um, hand grips. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, feel free to send them over. I always like to challenge myself that way. So you guys have a good Thursday. We'll see you tomorrow.